What's up Alpha Males, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back on 2K21 and a little bit of background on this video. Recently I posted a video called how many points can you score in a game of 2K21 world record Trivago. And towards the end of the video I made the mistake of saying if I get 10,000 likes I'll score 10,000 points in a 2K game. And that is 10,000 points each, so a total of 20,000 points. And in the previous video I made it to about 30 overtimes and scored a total of 5,000 points and that took me about 8 hours or so. So as you can imagine scoring 20,000 points total took everything out of me, it took forever to do but I wasn't gonna back out of a promise you guys delivered with 10,000 likes which is pretty incredible I really just was putting that number out there wasn't expecting to actually get that but the boys delivered so I got to deliver to the boys so here we go and if you've seen my channel before you guys know that I like to make my own custom characters when I'm doing videos and things like this I knew it would take me a long time to play so I didn't want to just play on some generic NBA team with real life players so what I decided to do was kind of come up with a theme for the two teams being heroes versus villains. The heroes being the Lakers because they are the greatest franchise of all time. Also LeBron James may or may not be my father. He won't answer my emails and take the paternity test like I've asked him time and time again. And as you can see the Lakers team here, some of the players I put on this team are Abraham Lincoln. Pretty good dude. He was also 6'4", so we're definitely going to have to utilize him on the court. I think the African American community likes him a little bit too, so that's probably going to up his NBA abilities. Then we have other heroes on this team such as Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Helen Keller, and Jonah Hill. Just because I like the guy in mid-90s is one of my favorite movies of all time. And for the villains team, I put them on the Brooklyn Nets for obvious reasons. They have a snake, a flat earther, and possibly the greatest actor to ever be in the NBA, James Harden. We've got some pretty big names on this team such as Joseph Stalin, Ajit Pai, the man who tried to cancel the internet, and of course Osama, thanks to the idea of Terry Rogier who once said Osama should have hooped instead of trying to kill people because he's tall as hell. To make this as easy as possible on myself, I did make all of the players a 99 overall with all purple badges. With the exception of Helen Keller, I gave her as low as overalls as possible except her passing rating because I don't want her to be turning over the ball left and right. Just gonna come straight out of the box with a little bit of a spoiler, I did not do this in one attempt so you are gonna see a couple different games here. Scoring 10,000 points is not as easy as it seems because you have to continuously go into overtimes without messing up and I figured out that about 8,000 points in I start falling asleep on myself and things get very difficult. Also Gandhi and Joseph Stalin may have a little bit more drift than you might have expected but I made everybody their real height and I try to make it look as much like them as possible although as you might expect I can't place a turban on a created 2k player and as you can see I am quite literally just switching off the controller to myself passing it to me back and forth and scoring as quickly as possible skimming forward a bit to the end of the fourth quarter at this point I've got my rhythm down pretty well and I ended up scoring 550 points each for a total of 1100 points in regulation I also did the math for myself ahead of time and I figured out that I need to score at least 500 points in regulation and then I need to be scoring 80 points per team in every overtime. And at this pace, I should be done by around 130 overtimes. Now jumping forward several hours or so in my time, we are here in the 81st overtime. And this is one of the points where I mess up. As you can see, I'm about 6,200 points in. I think what happened is I was looking at the six and the nine and I was thinking that was the same number for some reason. I mean, in my defense, I'm about 10 hours in at this point, but I do catch myself with 0.2 seconds left with the ball in Joseph Stalin's hand, but there's not much you can do at this point. Here you can see I'm paused. I'm freaking out here. There's 0.2 seconds. The only thing I can think to do is call a timeout, but the refs just ignored me and ended the game 10 hours in or so. This ref walks across the screen looking pretty constipated. I can't blame the man. He did just referee 81 overtimes without a break. So at this point, I called it a night and I was contemplating testing out how aerodynamic my body would be if I threw it off a tall building. Now, I know that I did actually score 10,000 points between the two teams, but I'm not here to give you subpar content and my mom didn't raise a bitch. So we're back at it again, except I'm going to be playing this at the Brooklyn Nets Arena this time and try my best not to throw 10 hours of my life away again. Here we can see the Gandhis are getting warmed up, looking pretty good. I did make a few changes in this game. At this point, Helen Keller grew to be 7'7", seven seven, and Ajit Pai also grew to be 7'7". Seven seven. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible just so I can move on with my life because I'm not going to stop until I get this done. As you can see, it became pretty good at throwing full court passes into three-pointers. Also, a common theme you might notice in this video is that Helen Keller got dunked on and abused a lot. I mean, I can't blame the lady if she can't hear or see. And she is about the size of a new bowl with the attributes of DJ Khaled while playing against a team of 99 overalls. By the seventh overtime, I cracked into the thousand points. It's just satisfying to see it switch over to a thousand. Thought I'd give the honor to Osama and Martin Luther King. Both seem like pretty chill dudes. Now, a while later here, we're in the 90th overtime. And as you can see, the score is 6,966 to 6,966. And I think you can see where this is going. I'm not going to miss out on an opportunity to see 469s on my screen at about 7 a.m. in the morning. Also, God bless these dancers. They're just trying to put themselves through college. 
probably gonna resort to making an OnlyFans after this game. But here we are in the 100th overtime. Just pretty satisfying to see. At this point, I had two Ajit Pies in, and the six foot Ajit can beat the seven foot seven Helen Keller on the jump. Just doesn't look right, but she is disabled. Probably male privilege. And skipping forward to the 106 overtime, you can see here I'm getting a bit fatigued as I wasn't even trying to move Joseph Stalin down the court. And this led to another fatal mistake by me, just proving to be a complete disappointment to my family. Without even thinking, muscle memory took over. I took Gandhi to the three point line with 3.2 seconds left and threw up a three. I caught my mistake with 0.9 seconds left. And I actually just sat here for about 30 seconds just being upset with myself. And of course there's 0.1 seconds left. The ball is going to go in. I knew it. There was nothing I could do about it. I thought about just quitting, but I let it go in. And the expression of the nets is about how I was feeling. Kim Jong-un's over there on his knees. Of course, Gandhi, I'm okay, and everybody is having a great time celebrating in their faces. That is kind of fair. There are some mass murderers and a sheet pie on that team. And as you can imagine, 2K wasn't working too well, 8,000 points in, so the buzzard beater is actually a shot with 55 seconds left in the game not the actual buzzard beater the heroes rub it in a little bit more and then they all just kind of walk away running into some of the ushers acting like nothing happened and some of the stats for this game osama bin Balin had about 3,000 points joseph stalin had about 2500 ajit pai had 1400 and kim jong-un had a pretty decent 810 assist and for the lakers abraham lincoln had about 4900 points gandhi had around 1700 and martin luther king had about 900 points but none of this matters because i didn't score 10,000 points and I just wasted another day. But now moving into the third and final game, I was finally smart enough to put myself into a league so at least I'll have a backup plan of saving and quitting. However, I doubt it will actually save the game when it's 9,000 points in so I'm actually not going to try to save and quit at any point during this. I made sure both teams made the finals but that really wasn't too hard considering everybody's a 99 overall with the exception of a few of the players I picked up during the season. And ironically, they picked up Anthony Tolliver who is actually the only NBA player to ever come out of my city. Fun fact, he went to the same high school as Brad Pitt. I don't think they went at the same time, but they both went to Kickapoo High School, home of the Chiefs, which actually, you know what, I think we need to acknowledge this. Now being enough Native American that my cousins go to college for free just based off that alone, I am deeply offended and saddened by them being the Chiefs. It's just so disrespectful to my family, my heritage, and everything. So boys, I think you know what we need to do. We need to cancel Kickapoo Chiefs. If enough of you send emails to the high school or the state of Missouri complaining about how the Chiefs just deeply offends you and we need to cancel it and they need to be named the Kickapoo High School, I bet we could take away their mascot and or cancel Kickapoo in general. I think it's about time the boys get to cancel something for once. But here we are hopping into the final game of the series. It is a best of three series and the series is tied one to one. So this is win or go home. And at this point, I'm determined to get this video done. I'm not stopping until I do. Steve Nash looks ready with his googly eyes. The boys are all getting together and they are prepared to waste everybody in this arena's time. But here we are to tip off. Helen Keller won the jump ball by feeling the vibrations on the floor and guessing when the ball is thrown up. And same strategy here, just throwing the ball full court, except I'm getting pretty productive at this, given that I have about 30 hours of experience within the past two days. Again here, the villains are just harassing Helen Keller, just throwing her to the ground on a dunk. Beginning of the fourth quarter here, MLK's hitting another three, but to no surprise, Osama Bin Balin hits a three to match that. Definitely didn't just show you this part to show you the score. And at the end of regulation, the game is tied at 567, which beats my previous record of 1100 points total. Six overtime here, this is a problem I occasionally ran into with the smaller players, as Ajit Pai would just bully them, given that Gandhi is around 5'6 and Ajit is about 7'7. Seven seven. Seventh overtime here, and Abraham Lincoln greens it from pretty far out. And Osama retaliates by just driving his shoulder straight into Abraham Lincoln's chest. But of course, Osama is innocent. He didn't do anything. It was actually George Bush. Here in the 16th overtime, Osama bin Balin scores his 911th point. He has over half of his team's points at this point, but Abe is right there with them with 935 points of his own. 17th overtime here, and Osama hits a three in the face of Abe Lincoln, celebrating on him. Don't know where that came from. Then Gandhi proceeds to try to shoot a three over the seven footer, gets blocked. I try to toss up a bad shot to even up the score. And of course, I make that. This game is just a bunch of nonsense right now. 20 second overtime here, and if you look on the top right of your screen, you can see Helen Keller just throwing Z out of her way. Just no regard for human life, no sense of personal space. Ajit follows this up by having a double step back, James Harden style, except he's seven foot seven, so he really throws himself out there. Still ended up making it over Gandhi, but seriously, this step back proved to be a real problem for me because he would step back about 10 feet from where he started. And of course, I'm trying to even up the score, take a bad shot from half court, and it's in. Osama's pretty useful given that he's six foot five and Abe is also pretty useful given that he's six foot four. You know who isn't useful though? Helen Keller. The ball literally hits her in the face just completely whiffs the rebound. Villain's ball. And for the Lakers 5,000th point of the game, I give it to Martin Luther King, who then finds an excuse just to grab a fan's crotch in the stands. Interesting playing tactic. Just gonna walk over here. Whoa, whoa, I'm slipping and falling. 
I'm stumbling. I need something to grab onto. Ah. 24 overtimes later, Osama hits the three, and then 2K decides to surprise me with an update required message. I don't know how to get this off, so I'm going to have to play with this for the rest of the game. You guys are going to have to enjoy this little box being down in the corner for the rest of the video, but it's just further proof that I played the entire game in one sitting. 90th overtime, Abraham Lincoln rises up for the white boy dunk. And Osama tries to end Gandhi's career, but he just puts up a nice little layup. Again, 69-69 to 69-69. Nice. 97th overtime here, and I have hit the three-fourths mark at 7,500 points. Thanks to Abraham Lincoln and Osama bin Balin, who currently are in the 4,000 points range and are both beating Wilt's previous record of most points scored in the season. However, they are in the playoffs. Again, just a satisfying number to look at. I thought I'd just fill it up with eights and let you see that. It just looks real satisfying to me. Abraham Lincoln, again, playing to his skin color, going for the layup instead of the flashy dunk. Another Helen Keller moment here. She's passing in the ball and just chucks it off the backboard. Somehow actually works out pretty well though. Martin Luther King ends up making the three. Not sure if that counts as an assist or not. But here we are in the 133rd overtime. The score is tied up at 9,996. Abraham Lincoln brings the ball up and just chucks it off from half court. Ends up making that. Ajit again with the annoying step back. Ties it up. And I thought I'd give the honor to the best hero on the floor, Jonah Hill, to do the honor of getting us past 10,000 points. I even took over his defender to try to give him an open dunk. But he did try to dunk on an eight footer that didn't work out so well ajit took it the length of the floor and dunked on half the team and abe goes the other way going in hard for the dunk but osama just tosses him draws a flagrant abe hits a shot there's been an act of terror on the floor and osama responded by doing the salt shaker dance not sure how to take that but there it is 10,001 to 10,001 i finally did it this took forever. I believe I started this game at around 8 p.m. and I didn't finish until around 2 p.m. the next day. Also, I'm pretty certain this is one of the clips where I was actually falling asleep on myself. But going into the 134th overtime, I'm about to put this game away. Thought I'd just have a little bit more fun, abuse Helen Keller a little bit more. Just isolating her so I can break her ankles and dunk on her. And if you were wondering if 5'6 Gandhi can dunk, yes, he can. Very well. Spin move, dunk, nothing to the man. Osama with a nice finish here. Gandhi again, saucing up the whole entire team. Spin moves by the defense and slams it in. Ajit Pai going in for the hard dunk and Jonah Hill just takes him out. I guess the refs aren't paying attention at this point anymore. Makes sense. We've been here for a while. A few more Helen Keller posters just for good measure. Even Gandhi got in on some of the action of abusing Helen Keller. Even though they're teammates, he still found a way to do it. But at the end of the game here, the score is tied 10,040. Thought I'd give it to the good man, Jonah Hill. He deserves it. Sauced up the defense a little bit. Hit the spin move into the three-pointer buzzard beater. It's in, but they go to the monitor. I think they're counting it as good either way. Everybody wants to go home at this point. And that'll do it. The Lakers win. The scoreboard says it's 59-56. to 56, Not even close. Gandhi is sucking on Abe's tit. That's a phrase I never thought I'd be saying. The whole hug animation just isn't working out for them. Another good Gandhi moment. The trophy's about the size of him. It's just blocking off his face. But Abraham Lincoln led the game in total points scored with 5,480. Martin Luther King with 2,800 and 875 assists. And Helen Keller putting up some Draymond Green stats. Pretty solid. And for the Nets, Osama Bin Balin with 5,100 points. Ajit Pai with 3,500. And Kim Jong-un with 1,400 assists. Pretty damn good. Also, here's the team comparison. In. Both teams shot about 3,500 field goals and about 3,400 three-pointers. They each had over 100 turnovers. That's my fault. And each team had around 2,750 assists. The score summary is completely broken. Nothing's showing up there. The shot chart not really showing up like it probably should. feel like there should be a lot more circles than there are there. And Martin Luther King got the finals MVP for averaging 150 points and 40 assists per game. I think that's a good note to end Black History Month on. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video took a little bit longer to get out than usual. It did take several tries, and I was just exhausted by the time I got it done. However, this was still a lot of fun to make. I'll try to get back into my routine of posting weekly. No promises, though. I don't necessarily see the reason in scoring any more points than this, so I'm going to set an unreasonably high like goal for this video. If it gets 100,000 likes, I will score 100,000 points each. But seriously, I don't want to score 100,000 points, so please don't like the video. But if it happens, I'll do it. I'll hate you all, but I'll still do it. I do have some pretty cool merch that is coming out soon that I had professionally designed, and I really think you guys will like it, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you go follow my socials down below so you guys can support me being a menace to society. Please don't be politically correct on my channel. Don't invade Russia in the winter. Thank you guys again for 50,000 subs on YouTube and 50,000 followers on TikTok. I know a lot of you guys have found me through there, but I love you guys. Don't wet the bed. I'll see you in the next one.